Hi there, I'm Andrew with craftybeetroot.com and welcome back to the workshop. Today we've got a little bit of a not so serious build. I know my channel's getting filled up with all these serious life builds which just they're just not that much fun. I mean they're a little bit of fun but time for something a little bit more what this channel was built around and that was just me building useless things because I want to. Today's build, probably as you've guessed from the title, is Lunar Lovegood Wand. How are we going to build this wand specifically? It's a pretty simple wand. All it is is one piece of wood. So we've got our single piece of wood. This is an offcut of hoop pine. Uh, it's about the right size, about the right length, and about the right thickness, so we don't have to cut too much off of it. We have a pattern with a reference photo. Now, the size of the wand isn't technically specified. Pretty consistently, all of the replicas made are 34 and a half centimeters. So we're gonna go with that as a guide and we'll just see how it feels, compare it to Dumbledore's wands and other wands I've made. This should be a little bit smaller, I feel, a little bit more petite, something that would fit Luna's hand nicely since it was made custom for her. Mostly it's just gonna be shaping, a lot of sandpaper, a lot of file work. So with that, let's go ahead and get to the build. Now that I've got the shape again, I'm going to mark my lines. Basically, I'm going to round off down these areas without affecting these bigger area, the bigger points. So far we've made good progress. Now because I don't have a lathe, we're going to have to go ahead and uh, start hand sanding this, being very careful to keep our shape and checking with our reference. So we're back. Unlike my plan, it wasn't a nice quick build. Um, it's taking a little bit longer than I wanted, but that's fine. It's all right. It's been a few weeks and we are back on this project. So we've done most of the shaping now and just got one tinsy little confession to make. I didn't end up doing this all kind of by hand like I was hoping. 
just was taking too long. So I decided to ghetto lathe it up. For those of you that know what I'm talking about, you get me. For those of you that don't quite understand, let me show you what I mean. This is a drill. This is my piece of wood. And, and this is a bearing. So if I put the wand inside of the bearing, it's got something to rotate on. I tighten up on it. I can then pull on it. And now I've got myself a bit of a lathe. Obviously this isn't the intended purpose of this tool. So you want to be really careful. That's why I've just got it on a battery drill. I can control the speed, keep it all safe. I'm not going to be using any lathe chisels. Um, I'm going to be just using files and sandpaper. And just to get that final shape down, it's just going to be a lot quicker. Um, even this isn't going to be great because it's not perfectly level and lined up and straight. It gets a bit of wobble to it. So I'm just going to have to be careful, keep it level, and just kind of work on it until I get that overall shape. I'm just gonna figure out the final finish on this. I need to check my reference again, but this is a yellowy brown. It's not a real dark brown. So, we are gonna do some experimentation. I've got some scrap wood here to do some testing on. What we're gonna do is I've got some stain. I'm gonna water it down because it's a walnut stain. So we definitely don't need that much dark. I'm just gonna water it down with mineral spirits and just test it until we get the right color. Yeah, and that's pretty well perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and put a coat of this on.
And there we have it, Luna Lovegood's second wand. Been a fun little project. I'm sure you're seeing some nice close-ups now of it. So this project took me a couple weeks to finish off. I was hoping it to be a kind of an afternoon build, but it just didn't work out that way. A little rough in a couple areas. I uh, wouldn't recommend using a drill as a lathe, but it does work. You just got to be careful and, you know, using sandpaper and files, you can get it done. But mine wasn't quite centralized properly, so I ended up having to go back in and hand file anyway to get all the shapes. Extremely happy with the flower end of this. Uh, and I went a little bit off canon with the flower. Um, ended up going with a little bit of more detail at the end there, but I really liked how it worked out. Colour, it's okay, it's okay. I like the way it's got some character to it. However, probably could have been a little bit richer. So if you're interested in more builds like this or you want some more details on this, I will put those plans on my website, www.craftybeetroot.com. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel. I've got other wand builds, primarily Dumbledores from and other ones from the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them series. Check those out. If not, we will check you on the next build.